everybody, this is Laura from Atomic News and we are on some back roads right now, kind of exploring. I'm just give you guys a view of what I can see. Um, we are outside of Arabaca, kind of in the mountains right now. And this is a heavy crossing area. Uh, we did cross at one point um, quite a few border patrol agents and kind of like a Crossings do happen. This is a pretty much an alleyway for drug runners of uh, this area in Arabaca. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys the terrain here. Um, as you can see, the desert is unforgiving. Um, these roads are not the best. <laughs> um, we definitely need a 4x4 four four eventually here for Atomic News. There's a nice little view for you guys. Um, there is water close by, so there's some bugs and things like that. Um, and we did see a snake cross the road, but so far, <laughs> there have been no illegal crossings. So we are headed um, back to Arabaca so that we can get on the 19. We're going to head towards Nor Nogales. Um, and see what we can get into there because Aravaca like really um, is really four by four uh, necessary as far as being um, out on these roads. We could go so much farther and so much deeper, but we don't want to get stuck out there in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, of course, we could change a flat tire, but if anything else happened, um, we'd be kind of screwed. I'm gonna see. Until then, peace out. Okay. Hey everybody, we're back. Um, where is it? Oh, you can hardly see. There's a cow. Or, or Mr. Tomic says it's a bull. Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. There's two. Hi. This is open range, so. There's cattle all over this area here because we're not far from, you know, it's rancher land basically. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> we're out here in the middle of nowhere.
over on that hill. Oh, he's probably, oh yeah, he's back on this hill over here. I don't think I can, you guys will be able to see, but I can see him. But way off in the distance there, there's a truck. Um, he moved. So they definitely hang out here and uh, watch. And there's a reason why they're watching here. Uh, yeah. So, all right, guys, until the next uh, clip. Peace out. Hey, everybody, look what I found. Little cows. The gimbal doesn't want to stabilize. Hold on. There we go. Look it! I'm on the side of the road. So these, these are younger cows. Hi guys! You wanna be my friend? Look how cute this one is. They're scared. I'm scaring them. Atomic News is scaring the cows. Excuse me. Where's the beef? <laughs> Just thought I'd show you guys that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Hey guys, this is Laura back from Atomic News and we were just driving down the highway and I wanted to show you guys what we found here. So this is a sign that says humanitarian aid is never a crime. Drop the charges. And then it says no more deaths.org. So this is a water drop that has been placed here by no more deaths.org. And in case you guys didn't know, no more deaths.org has recently had some charges filed, so I think this is interesting. Um, they are prosecuting people for providing uh, this type of a thing here in Arizona. So I wanted to just make a quick video and share this with you. I think the landowner just passed me. He's probably like, mm-hmm, used to people doing this. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. People leaving water and supplies out for illegal aliens. All right, guys, until the next clip. Hey, everybody, I'm back, and we are in what I assume is pronounced Sassabe. Um, and we did run into the wall here. This is 289, Highway 289. 280. Oh, two, 280? Okay, no, I think it's 280 something, but we'll forget that. Anyway, you can see off in the distance here, um, there is wall. And it's so hard to see and I'm zoomed in as far as I can get. Um, we're gonna try and get up there. There's a road that kind of goes mm, off to the side of the port of entry that's here. Um, the port of entry is right over here. Um, off in the distance there. It looks like a big old house but it's actually a port of entry. And then you guys the wall continues and on this side over here, it looks different. I almost want to try and get to that wall too because that looks like it's a different kind of wall. Um, you can kind of see it there off in the distance. I'm gonna have to look at this video um, in the car, zoomed in and see if I can see what the differences are, but they look different from afar and I want to know what's different about it or if it is in fact different. Um, so we are going to try and get up there to the wall <laughs> and see if we can get a better look for you. So this area here is definitely walled in. So all right until the next clip. All right everybody I'm back. Um, I did make it to the road to the wall and Sassaby says Sass 11 up there. Um, the wall does go down quite a ways, and there is a road. Um, it looks like you can kind of see at the end there, the wall does stop. You can kind of see off in the distance where the road stops. I think that they use um, the mountains as a natural barrier here. Um, if you do look, I'm going to pan over this way. Off in the distance here, you can kind of see a tower over here. Um, and then you can see tr uh, roads up into the mountains. And my guess is that those are border patrol roads so that they can patrol those mountains similar to like they do uh, in Sunland Park. This kind of reminds me of Sunland Park in a way because of the way the wall um, stops and runs into a mountain. Um, that's kind of a common thing when we have a natural barrier like a, um, 
an area of mountains like that. It'll just abruptly stop like that. So I just wanted to show you guys this area. We do have the razor wire. Border Patrol doesn't seem to care that we're here. I do not see any Border Patrol on this road at all. Whereas when we were on the Douglas side, there was Border Patrol along the wall like every mile. Um, I see none here, even though right behind me, literally like right behind me here, is the port of entry. Like it's right on the other side of this little brick building that's right here. Um, they don't care that we're here. I don't think they mind. Otherwise, somebody would have already been here because I'm quite sure that we trip sensors. Um, so that is that, you guys. It kind of smells like piss right here. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. So this is Sassabee, if I'm even pronouncing it right. Um, we're going to see what we can see on the other side where I thought that the, mount, the wall might be slightly different on the other side. Uh, so we're going to go see if we can get into trouble over there <laughs> until that clip. Peace out. Okay, so we decided to say what the heck and go down the border road. And Mr. Atomic says this is the worst roller coaster he's ever been on. Some of these inclines are pretty steep. Um, <laughs> and I questioned him, I said, okay, when we come back through, are we gonna be able to get back up that? And he's like, uh, yeah, I think so. So we'll find out, you know, if Border Patrol needs to give us a tow or whatever. <laughs> see what's at the end of the road here so exactly what the end of this border wall looks like so we're we're gonna go there I'm gonna take you there so I just wanted to kind of show you the roller coaster of this road so far in the rear view we got no border patrol they don't care that we're out here so far at least um, there is no border patrol whoa mother oh dear are we gonna be able to get up this honey look at this we're gonna have to <laughs> oh shit balls um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty steep, um, and we are not four wheeling it, so if we can make it up this, I think we can make it up the others. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we made it. <laughs> Sound effects, huh? You guys didn't know you were going to get a little show here. All right, so we're, we're getting closer. When we get up there, I'll clip you in, okay? Until then. All right, everybody, I am back. We made it to the end. Um, it's just what I thought, exactly as it hits the uh, mountain, the wall ends, and I can literally walk up here. There's, you know, nothing. So anybody could walk around this. I'm quite sure they have sensors over here. Um, I, you know, obviously don't want to go into the mountain and trip any sensors, but I could technically walk around that right there and walk into Mexico. So right here, that's the Mexico side, right on the other side. It's that easy. So somebody could literally, from you know, come up through the mountains right here, and just walk up and around, come around this edge that is not protected. It's just nature, and come down this side here, all the way down this road, and turn themselves in to that port of entry because they could do that they don't have to go through the port of entry I mean that's the way they're supposed to but they're not going to do that when just here I mean what is this like a mile a two at the most they can come up right here come up and around and boom they're in America claim asylum and then they get processed by border patrol and go into a detention center um, so why do it that way when they can boot you out that way in a second and deny them entry. Well, I mean, technically, I guess if you go through a port of entry and they say they're claiming asylum, they're still going to process them. But they have more of a chance in this backdrop of getting by Border Patrol because this road that we just went through, I'm going to time it. I'm really going to time it. Um, I realize Border Patrol trucks are much uh, stronger than my Dodge Journey, <laughs> but I want to time how long it takes for us to get from one end to the other, because that's, that's a difficult road, you guys. I wasn't joking when I said that was a roller coaster. That's a difficult road. So if they have to haul ass up here to get to somebody that's come right up here to this open area, um, it's going to take them a while. 
enough for people to get all the way on the other side of this mountain and be off into the mountain where it's going to take border patrol going around other mount you know other roads over here into the mountains to get to them um, which is much trickier and they can hide in these mountains hide in the rocks um, of course they can pull in a helicopter to help them you know but yeah you guys it's that easy this is where we need we build the wall to uh, continue this wall up over the mountain where probably people say they cannot build wall kind of like in New Mexico and show the world that yes we can we can build this wall from one end to the other regardless of the terrain all right guys we're gonna see what's on the other side on the other side of the port of entry and what that wall looks like so until that next clip peace out all right everybody um, we are done for the day um, so this was Strike two, yeah, strike two without seeing anybody crossing the border. Um, we saw a lot of border patrol except for here in Sesame. <laughs> um, it took us a whole seven minutes just about to get from the top of that border wall where we were at the end all the way to the port of it, where right where, the other end where the port of entry was. Um, there was a road going to the other side, but Mr. Atomic kind of vetoed that idea because the roads were really difficult for a Dodge journey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to have to wait until we have some uh, different wheels <laughs> to keep doing that particular road to go on the other side. Um, so this is our our second strike. Um, we did not see anybody crossing um, in this adventure, but at least we did learn more about the wall. We know that um, Aravaca, though it is not exactly on the border, it is a high traffic area because the, it's wide open. There's no wall near it, and there are people that do trek through those mountains, believe it or not. Those mountains do not stop people. Um, and right now, just so you guys know, it is starting to cool off down here. In the middle of the day, it was like 80 degrees, 82 degrees. Um, that is acceptable temperature, believe it or not, for crossings to start kicking up. So we are going into the season where there is going to be more people crossing. Uh, in Aravaca, there was a lot of Border Patrol parked around because... That is where drugs go through, believe it or not. Um, small town, not exactly on the border, but those drugs, they come through the mountain and then in through the area of Aravaca. Um, we did not see anybody today. Uh, I wish that I had gotten that footage for you, but at least I did. I was able to show you uh, the area, the surrounding area, so that you can see the terrain and how people can come still into the U.S. And then you were able to see the border wall on Sassabee, um, which... We didn't even know that town existed until today. Uh, it didn't even know that there was a port of entry there or that um, there was wall there until today. So um, that was something I learned today. And then, you know, I thought it was really interesting to find out um, that the border wall ends there and probably because of that mountain. Um, we really need to maybe discuss if we build the wall. Um, who is able to build in terrain like that, um, that might be a place where we would want to continue eventually. I, mean, I know there are places that are, are, are more, you know, important than Sassabi, but um, in the future, you know, when the majority of the wall is built, maybe that's a place that we need to go to later on down the line. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's footage, regardless of there not being any crossers. Um, next time, you guys, we will be going back to Yuma because guaranteed in Yuma there will be somebody crossing. Um, it doesn't stop there. It is it's been happening there for decades and decades. Um, it's not going to slow down anytime soon because it is getting cooler there too. So uh, next trip, next month sometime, back to Yuma just for you guys. All right, guys, until the next video, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload videos or do live streams. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out.